Hi everyone, I'm Ellen Sweeney and welcome to this week's edition of Tips for iOS. This week I'm going to walk you through my favorite email app for the iPhone and the iPad called Spark. So let's get started by opening up the Spark Mail app. And right now I'm looking at my inbox and as you can see uh, the cards that I have available to me are notification, newsletters, and then inbox. To get to the settings area, you need to touch on the three little lines in the top left hand corner to open up the sidebar. And then you would scroll all the way to the bottom where it says settings. And at the very top, you'll see mail accounts. And if you tap on mail accounts, as you can see, I already have my Gmail account already in there. But if you wanted to uh, add an account, you would just tap on add an account. And you have many services to choose from. You have Google, you have Microsoft Exchange, Yahoo, iCloud, Outlook, and other is for IMAPs. And you just need to make sure that you have all of your account settings before you get ready to add an account to Spark. So now that we've added an account to Spark, and I'm going to use my Gmail account as an example, now we can set up some of the features that are what really make Spark shine. So if you go into General where it says Personalization and tap on that, the first thing that shows up is your sidebar, and your sidebar shows your Smart Inbox, your Inbox, your Snoozed Attachments and Archive, and then you can add uh, new things if you want to. So you can add pins or spam. So you can add different folders that you want to be able to see in the cards. But I've kept mine pretty simple. And so I just have the smart inbox, the inbox, snoozed, attachments, and archives. Then I'm going to tap on swipes. And on swipes, you can set so that when you have an email that you want to get rid of, you can tap or set up the swipe so that when you swipe it, you know, it's either going to be deleted or it's going to be marked as read. So what I have mine set up is from the left to the right, a short swipe is going to mark it from red to unread. A long swipe from left to right is going to delete it. And then if I swipe the other way on an email, if it's a short swipe, it's going to archive it. And if it's a long swipe, it's going to send it to my Evernote account. Let me show you how that works real quick. So if I take one of my um, emails, and I'll just use this Amazon video email, if I swipe from the left to the right, you'll see that it says red. If I continue to keep swiping, now it says delete. So that will delete that. If I swipe the other way from the right to the left, a short swipe is going to archive my email. And if I continue to swipe, it's going to send that email over to Evernote. So now that I've shown you how swiping works, let's take a look at widgets that are available in uh, the Spark app. So we're going to tap on the three lines in the top left to get back to settings. We're going to tap on settings. We're going to tap on personalization and then we're going to tap on widgets. And so the widgets that are avail available to you are calendar, attachments, recently seen emails, and snoozed. You can also place your widgets in the top of the uh, Spark app or down in the bottom of the Spark app. So I usually have mine down at the bottom and let me show you how that works a little bit. So we're going to come back out of settings and if you see the little round circle at the bottom right hand corner that, that has three dots in it, if you tap on that, those are your widgets. So uh, they're pretty easy to figure out. 31 is your calendar, uh, the little paper clip is your attachments, the um, uh, little uh, envelope is your recently seen and then what looks like a clock is your snoozed so if I tap on snoozed you'll see all the emails that I have snoozed and right now I just went ahead and, and snoozed one email so that you could see what it looks like and so I have it snoozed for today and it's going to come back to me at 11 o'clock tonight uh, going back if I tap it again and I tap uh, the little letter with the uh, clock on it this shows me all of my recently seen emails if I tap on the uh, paper clip, now I see all the attachments that are in the emails that I have. And then the last thing is the calendar. And what that allows you to do is you can go ahead and hit the plus sign and you can add things into your calendar from directly in the Spark Mail app, which is a really great feature. So now let's get back to the settings area so I can show you some more settings that you can use. 
So here Spark allows you to change the color, the background color, and so you can change it from you know dark blue to dark sky to light blue, whatever you know your preference is. So that's the light blue. Um, you can also change your signatures or add signatures. Spark is pretty intuitive. If you've used signatures in the past, it kind of searches your emails and finds your signatures and then adds them to this. But you can also edit your signatures and add new signatures that you want. On snoozes, it lets you customize your snoozes. So you can check these all off, which I've done, or you know you can just pick the snooze um, settings that you want to use. Badges. So I, I really don't use badges that much, but I will use them for just unread email messages. So if I back all the way out of Spark, I know that I have 12 email messages that I haven't read right now. Let me go back in quickly and show you how to snooze an email if you're interested in doing that. I'm going to open up the Spark email app and I'm just going to choose this Best Buy email. In the top right hand corner you're going to see a little clock and if I tap on that, that brings up the snooze notifications. You can go ahead and choose any of those. Um, I've picked all of them. You can also customize them and I'm just going to choose this for later today at 11.30. Um, and then I'm going to show you how you can view that. So if I tap on the snooze and hit the little clock down at the bottom left hand corner, now you can see that I have two emails snoozed. I know this uh, video is getting a little bit long, so uh, I still have a couple other things I want to show you real quick. So I'm going to go back into settings. And one of the things I want to show you is quick replies. If you receive an email from uh, somebody that you know, you can use these uh, quick replies to just send them a quick message back. You can add your own. It's pretty cool. So let me show you how that works in an email. If I just pick an email that one of my sisters sent me, uh, if I scroll to the bottom, you can see some of the quick replies there. And then if you hit more, It'll show you all that you have available to you and you know you can customize your own. But this is great if you just want to send somebody a quick reply and, and not send them an, a whole email. Works really well for that. So a couple other things uh, in settings. If you have an iPad and an iPhone and you use Spark on both of them, you can sync your settings via iCloud. So once it's set up on one device and you go into Spark on the other device, it should sync your settings and you should be ready to go. Um, Spark on the iPad is really great. I love it. And even though I've shown you this on the iPhone, the same settings and everything apply on the iPad. Um, I really love Spark. Uh, hopefully uh, you'll download it and give it a try and you'll really like it too. So uh, go ahead and download the Spark app for your iPhone or your iPad. Give it a shot. Uh, it's free, costs nothing, and really it's a great email app. It does a lot of things. And if you have any questions or you have any comments, you know, shoot me an email. Uh, I'd be happy to help you in any way that I can. Otherwise, I'll see you next week on Tips for iOS.